on Saturday morning at this ungodly hour broadcasting golf. It's cartoon time back on the East Coast, and you're thinking, I'm pretty tired, but this guy's, you know, having the championship of a, of a lifetime. And Tiger at the 18th tee, completing his uh, second round today. Tiger's lead, now six. Driver off the tee, Johnny. This is a dangerous shot for Tiger, I really believe. He's taking a gamble here. Oh. Well, well, no more commentary necessary. When he hits it down in the ocean, uh, I've never been as nervous watching a shot. And that story about the 18th hole actually starts back on the, on the 13th. And the resumption of the second round, on that morning, he putted in his room and he took three balls out of the bag and he forgot to put them back in the bag. I'd put the clubs there last night, you know, and then it's five o'clock in the morning, just picked them back up. I didn't even think I need to put some more balls in, whatever it might be. We're on the 13th tee, and I put my hand in the bag, and there's only three balls. Which is, you know, it's three balls. We've only got six holes to go. It's not a big deal. Back at the 13th. The 13th hole there obviously hit the ball in the rough off the tee. Kick left. Left. And it'll sandwich into the green and, and, and scuff the ball with the scruff on the ball. He walked off the green and chucked the ball to a young boy. So now we've got two balls left. Back over at 18. Tiger, a driver off the tee, Johnny. We get to 18. And of course, my thought is, you know, maybe we just need to hit an iron down here because what if, you know, one goes astray here in, in the ocean or out of bounds? That ball didn't even come close to finding the fairway. He's going to have to reload right here. If he hits this one in the ocean, we've got no golf balls left. Of course, I can't explain if we've got no balls left. I mean, that's exact, that, That's part of my job, to make sure we've got all, all we need for the golf course. <laughs> I can't say, I oh, Tiger, we've got no balls left. If I said that to them there, I think, I think he'd just say, well, you put the clubs down and you walk back home. He has not changed clubs, Johnny. I mean, I can't believe that he is going to try that again. I suggested that he needed to hit an iron off the tee course. You know, why would I hit an iron when I'm playing so well and da 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 da, -da. <laughs> You know, he was not going to hit an iron. Well, he could be here for several shots if he doesn't watch out. I don't think I've ever stood on the tee with my backside trembling, and uh, it was. <laughs> That's a good one, get a nice little friendly hop, so that's a gutsy shot. Obviously an amazing relief, and I'll have to say, I I've never been that nervous ever in my 40 years of caddying. That's part of the lore of that open. I mean, Tiger could have been disqualified. Of course, you can play ball out of a hazard. You probably Steve Williams have been waiting out there in the Pacific trying to find it. Uh, you would have been halfway to Tokyo. When we heard the story afterward, it was like, are you kidding me? He had one golf ball left? This whole story got even better. <laughs> I could not believe what I was hearing. You know, I don't know if you call that a fond memory, but it's certainly a memory that I'll never forget because we did run out of golf balls and I wouldn't be here sitting talking to you today. <laughs> so Tiger Woods now for bogey. So he follows up the 65 with a 69. Tigers halfway home, what could turn out to be his first U.S. Open championship.